everybody. Sorry. <laughs> I was engrossed in working on other things and I didn't realize one o'clock came and went. So I'm just a tad late and I'll be on for about 15, 20 minutes or so or it depends on how much we talk about. I'm basically winging it because I didn't work on my production notes. So I'm sorry, I'm fighting allergies and I'm really bad today. So anyway, uh, it's been raining really hard off and on here. Um, Weather-wise, they have a small craft advisory out in the sound. And so they advise the small craft not to be out, you know, smaller boats, things like that. Because things can get pretty choppy and pretty windy. Um, and, of course, I've been checking upon the news, what's going on. And, and Midas Touch has been keeping us very well informed of what's going on. Trump has been canceling a whole bunch of his, his events. And his staff admits now that he is not well at all. Um, I'm beginning to think that with uh, dementia, if he has that, if he's been checked for that, I don't know if they're going to force the check, check, make him go get a check for that. Um, if he has it, uh... On the average, most with dementia, they live two or three years after initial diagnosis. My mom had it, and so she lived about, let's see, 95, 1995, 1996. Let's see. Let's see. About four years after that. So on the average, it's anywhere from three to four years, or three between three and five years. It depends on the person. Um, I I felt really, you know, bad. You see somebody like that slipping away, and not much you can do except remind them of it. And I was told, well, you're not supposed to remind them of events or remind them of this and that. I go, no. They need to remember. They need to be reminded and shown and keep them going. Okay? I disagree with the other premise that they have. Uh, I may not have training in all this, but I go, no. This is... You want to keep the memories going. Because you yourself will remember. Hi, Nancy. How you doing? Uh, it's good to see you. How, how are things in Wisconsin? Um, like I said, up here, we're getting rain. You're probably going to be getting our rain the next few days, the way it's going. Um, so it started yesterday, and of course, they're now... Uh, with weather and it, which affects everything and everybody. Um, here in my apartment complex, they just pressure washed the building yesterday. It really needed, I hate to see what the dirty water looked like coming off the building. <laughs> I bet it was pretty dirty, pretty black, pretty dirty. Uh, there were, they were going to paint the building. Uh, oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, but anyway, they're going to repaint the building, but I don't think it's not going to happen today until they hit another sunny streak in order to do it. And my view of this is they should have done this in the summer. They should have not done it in the fall. Because <laughs> around October is when the rain start here, up here. That's why it's been a running joke around here in the Pacific Northwest. We call it the Seattle Pacific Northwest Rain Festival. <laughs> so it goes on from October through the spring, you know. 
Uh, but we do get sunny days at some times. And depending on whether we have a major storm or, you know, heavy rains and that clears up. And it's really nice and bright and pretty and then, you know, everything else. <coughs> Again, I'm sorry I was late, Nancy. Um... Uh, so anyway, um, with Trump, he has, he canceled a lot of events. Now, Kamala Harris is full steam ahead. Uh, some states have now started early voting. Florida has, Wisconsin is supposed to start a week from tomorrow. Oh, well, okay, I don't feel so bad. Uh, a week from tomorrow, uh, Wisconsin starts, no, no, Wisconsin, Michigan, I'm sorry, the state of Michigan, is starting their early voting a week from tomorrow. Uh, some have mail-in ballot, ballots, too. So, we're supposed to get, I'm supposed to get my ballot today. So, I have to go downstairs and check and see if the ballot is right. If it has, then I will fill it out, you know, review some stuff, fill it out, vote, and then I'll turn it back in. And it'll go back right in the mail tomorrow. Because um, up here when they do mail-in ballots, it takes a good, you're supposed to have it in by midnight on uh, November 5th. Um, so a lot of people try to get theirs in real, real quick. Now up here we have a very strict protocol as far as getting the mail ballots in. I have to mail mine in. I don't have a drop box where it could automatically straight go to the thing and it goes in. But they have a spe the post office here has a special pickup for all the ballots. And everything and they're secured um, so uh, there was one person in Florida that got caught picking up the uh, drop boxes and stealing them well she was a Republican election worker or something like that anyway she got caught doing it and now she's in jail because uh, it's a federal election uh, violation, federal election law violation. Uh, you think these people would learn, you know? Uh, Stelly, it's going to affect her, but it's going to affect everybody else. And including the, the manga Republicans, it's going, to, it's going to affect them too. So I don't think these people, excuse me a minute, I don't think these people study civics. They don't study how things work. Um, you know, what's all the logistics, what's all the rules that go into and everything. And like Trump, he's a dumb, he, he's an idiot, okay. Uh, uh, he's never learned how things really work, okay. I've known some narcissist, I lived with one, she refused to learn that, hey, this is how things work. And she doesn't think, oh, it doesn't work that way. I go, yes, it does work that way. And so she tries to force her thing on you and you say no. No. Narcis narcissistic people don't like the word no. They never have. Um, I told her, well, it's no and too bad. No. And so I'm so glad that I left her. And this was like uh, 14 years ago, which is, I'm kind of glad. Um, 
So you seem to, he seemed to bring out, Trump seemed to bring out a whole bunch of narcissists that are like him. Except one thing they don't like is Well, yeah, I know, but here, it depends on the state, okay. Hi, Carol. Uh, it depends on the state, okay, what their education requirements are. Here in Washington State, civics is the required course in all school districts here in Washington State. Uh, you have to have those credits in order to graduate from high school. Um, but it should be taught. And, you know, you have to learn how the government works, how it was set up, why it was set up, what, what made them think of these rules and why. You know, it's all part of it. So we need to push back the fact they need to learn civics, they need to learn life skills, they need to learn... Um, how to write cursive, how to read and write cur cursive, uh, because many of the doc older documents, uh, especially the Constitution, was written in cursive. Okay, it wasn't printed out; it was written in cursive. So you have to learn to read that. Okay. But people need to be encouraged to learn it and say, hey, you need to learn this. That's how you're better informed, better educated, and everything else. And so we need to make education a priority. Um, like, for ex let me give you an example here. This month, about a week from today, um, Trump is going to be sentenced. A, week, a, a month from today, he's going to be sentenced and he'll be put in prison. He is going to be told, you have to keep your cell clean. You're going to have to take a job in order to earn privileges. In other words, he has to follow the rules. Okay. Well, Ryan gathered, everything was done for him. He's never really grown up. I feel he's never really grown up. It was all done for him. He never really learned in school. He had hired somebody to learn for him. That doesn't work that way. Okay. So I'll bet you at the time when he was in the military academy, I bet the commandant was very, very frustrated with him. I bet you. And he, and he got bad grades. So you could pretty much guess, you know, even his late uh, business professor in school at the Wharton School of Business um, said Trump is the dumbest kid in the class, you know, he refuses to read or listen or anything else, he didn't do very well, okay. Um, because narcissists have this, have this tendency of they know it all. They really do. They don't know all of it, okay? If I wanted to know something, i go and research it, okay? This is how I've learned in college. You do research. You do read other uh, papers about it or doc documents about it or whatever, whatever it is. Especially in business school, especially when I went to criminal justice school. Yeah, well, that they can't do that anymore. Uh, Dad should not buy him his degree. He should have made him earn it more than anything. Um, so anyway, Trump is now in deep, such deep doo doo. He can't get out of it. He's in big trouble. He can't get out of it. So when he goes to prison, and I hope it's for a long time, uh, he, they're probably going to use his dementia as, as an excuse for him not going to prison. Well, there are prison, hosp uh, prison 
for mentally uh, ill people. And there are mental hospitals are, uh, for prisoners, too. So he'd be going in there. Uh, and they need to pull off the kid gloves and say, no, this is what's going to happen. Okay? So, Judge Chuckin or uh, the judge in New York, I forgot what his name was, um, he is probably going to stay to Trump. And he says, you better have your Thanksgiving dinner now. Because that will be the last really good meal that you'll have. And you'll be going to get probably either. They'll take him to an intake, what they call it, holding intake uh, facility. And they will evaluate and where to put him and everything else, whether he goes to Rikers or go to another prison in New York or send him to a, excuse me, medium security prison in somewhere or a maximum security prison. Um, I would imagine a max, maximum security prison because he has some hardcore followers who are trying to get him out. Uh, <coughs> also, um, they should yank his Secret Service detail. That's right. So they need to take off the gloves, kid gloves. They treat him like every, the same like everybody else. Um, so, um, again, a Secret Service detail needs to be re yanked because they're going to have plenty of officers around him anyway when they escort him. So, the Secret Service need, need not to go in there at all. And, um... Uh, they need to be sent on vacation for a while and then reassigned. Because you notice it's been eight years. 2016, let's see, let me check something here. Uh, Yeah, it's been eight years. So, by now, if he was like a normal, regular former president of the United States, he would have had his library built by now. He didn't follow any of the post-presidential rules at all. You notice that? He did not build his library. He was still trying to, you know, say, Oh, man, the election is stolen and everything. Well, no, it wasn't stolen. You just lost. Plain lost. And, um, he didn't build his library or anything. The only library he had would be a one-shelf thing in his cell, in his uh, jail cell. That'd be his library right there. And of course, there'll be nobody pandering or telling me he's great or anything else. I don't, I don't think, <coughs> I'm sorry. I don't think it's going to happen. They, the guards ever probably look at him cross-eyed and say, nope. Yeah, and I'll bet you two to one that Trump will say, well, you have to call me Mr. President. And I'll bet you that's not going to happen either. They'll say either Trump or his uh, inmate number. Um, and I'll bet you they're not going to respect him either. So, um, and of course I hope they don't make an excuse for his age either. Uh, they should have him in a maximum security prison 
had them go through all the other trials, the Georgia election, federal uh, election interference trial, uh, the trial in D.C., and the trial in Florida. Because remember, that was overturned by the 11th Circuit to uh, Eileen Cannon. That was, that was resurrected. That's still going. Because that was a uh, case of stealing national security documents. She's a she's an idiot. Eileen Cannon's an idiot. Okay? She should have been not assigned that case at all. They should have put a judge that had experience handling these type of cases. Okay? And also since she quote unquote dismissed it, she should be in prison for it. Because that's that's interference. That's obstruction right there on her part. Um, so the 11th Circuit did overturn that. And the case, case is still there. Some say, no, it hasn't. And I go, yes, it has. It's been overturned. Because Jack Smith appealed to the 11th Circuit and said, hey, he stole the documents. There's evidence of him stealing the documents. That's federal law. So she's violating federal law. So anyway, um, oh, it's 143. Okay, 21 minutes. All right, well, let's see. Let me check my calendar real quick here. Um, hold on a second. If I can find my calendar. Okay, I will see you on Monday at 1 o'clock, um, as usual. Sorry I was late today. I had a lot on my mind that was going on and everything. So, um, I hope all is well. Stay safe. If you have early voting in your state, vote. Uh... You know, to be sure to turn if you mail them ballots or go to the polls or whatever, vote and vote blue all up and down the line. Okay. Um, now, if there's a Republican on the ballot and there's no Democrats, vote independent. If there's an independent person running for that office. But as you know, there's many former Republicans that were basically kicked out of the Republican Party uh, are rooting or going to vote for Harris. Good. And you're welcome, Carol. So please take care. You could share. Um, push back. You know, persist and insist and push back. Uh, this is not over yet until all the votes are counted and are in. Um, because now they really tightened up now all the stuff that was going on during uh, 2012 and everything else and, and voting. Um, or 2020 voting, excuse me, 2020 voting, uh, they pretty much tightened up everything. And the uh, electors during the Electoral College, they have to follow federal law. So I'm sure that they will pick electors that are not megas. It's not going to happen. There's going to be people that were, you know, do this. I, they need to, I think they really need to kind of upgrade the electoral college. I really do. So, anyway. I don't think there's anything to worry about. Because when she's elected, she has to certify her own. I find that kind of 
ironic, if you will, but kind of a good way that uh, Vice President Harris has to uh, certify the elections when it comes on January 6th. Um, but hey, she's the Vice President, but she will be uh, on January 21st or January 20th, I don't know when the inauguration day is, but she'll be President of the United States. That time when she does the certified election, she'll be President-elect. So I'm sure that they'll figure something out more than anything. So anyway, I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a wonderful and safe weekend. And take care. I love you. And I will post this on my YouTube channel. Okay? Talk to you later. Love you. Bye-bye.